Hello, it's uh, April 1st, and so I'm just going to do a little shout out to Alana School. It was her birthday today, and we had a lot of fun with her, some great Japanese food today. Downtown Barry. Good. Um, so today I uh, I got my in and out of my space for the day, but had to run around doing posters for our Lake Show Mini uh, printmaking series that's coming up. We have two people who are registered for all six, so that's great. And uh, we have another person who's registered for one, and I think I've registered for a couple. So. Things are starting to fill up, so if you're interested in doing those, you need to contact me by email or phone, and we can get you on the list, because the limit is 10, and uh, de um, the dates are coming up soon. Um, the, uh, I had to deliver work to the Rotunda today for the Berry Art Club annual uh, exhibition there. Oh, they're probably close to... I'm going to say 75 works there. I know there's almost 200 members, so I figure there's about one work from each member going to be there. They are willing to participate. I was told that the um, opening reception for the banners for the Spring Art Tour it went really well yesterday at the Rotunda. And uh, Carol Mueller from Berry Art Club got some great pictures of those banners. Um, art the artists that did the banners, a lot of them were really, really smart and did their name across the banner or within the piece in bold letters. And I didn't do that, I just did my signature. So, anyway, it's sort of a, I guess it's a learning curve for me. Uh, anyway, they, a lot of them look really great. So, congratulations, everybody. Um, while I was dropping off the posters, I, uh, I dropped one off at the Department of Culture downtown, and I just popped my head in to say hi to Ani Groves, and uh, she told me that there was actually sort of a brief meeting today regarding Culture Day, and I kind of like, oh, I didn't hear about it. She's like, oh, you're more than welcome to come. So I did, after uh, first take with Elena, I popped over just to see what's going on, what they're thinking, the major players, and who is there? Um, well, Aaron, who's in charge of running the, uh, Open Doors Fest, was there, and as well as Claudine from the Film Festival group, and Neil Donnie was there to represent the McLaren. Uh, I guess uh, Melissa, who is actually going to be in charge of Carnegie Day, uh, was out of town or something. So. But anyway, so they were, the reason they were getting together this early, because Culture Days isn't until the beginning of October, is that, in September, end of, beginning, end of September, beginning of October, is that double, uh, Open Doors, Carnegie Day, Culture Days, uh, are all falling on the same weekend. So they were looking at how they can sort of cross, promote, and um, work to get publications out, uh, cross market. And, and you know, also sort of things that they need to keep in mind to make it better than last year. So maybe not, um, you know, over scheduling other people's events, um, but getting sort of more of a circuit of movement happening by people. So uh, the Carnegie Days is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, the film festival is doing film in the afternoon, and um, Double Doors is just, or sorry, Open Doors is just Saturday. So we're, you know, trying to see where we have to fill some areas. So it was sort of looking like Friday night. There's a possibility of um, some extra planning by the Department of Culture or other groups. And Sunday, there's not a whole lot of overlapping. And, you know, uh, I just mentioned that the Lake Shore Music would like to do a new launch as part of Culture Days on Saturday. So, um, you know, we could sort of fill the night on Saturday. but. Anyway, I learned that Oktoberfest is also that weekend, and that's happening in Heritage Park. And so, you know, at first you're like, oh, how, you know, how are we going to get people over to New Year's Launch if they're at the Oktoberfest tent? Um, but something that we thought about is, well, we've got the people down there. And, oh, okay, well, now we have a whole lot of security down there as well. So some of the things that we were worried about actually are kind of solved in the fact that there is a festival going on that night already. 
And Beaverfest is also the very same weekend. So, you know, we just really needed to, rather than look at the negatives of all what's going on, is look at how we can actually join them all together to, uh, to benefit the, the public. So anyway, it's a neat meeting. And, um, what else? Oh, so, uh, Claudia, uh, so I had, like, oh, I told you I had Claudia and Jennifer come into the lecture room print making workshop, so that's great. And did a little bit more painting in my space today, uh, even trying to get it sort of springified or, you know, uh, sort of more cheerful. Uh, I do have some feature walls in there, but they're kind of this, like, dark, cozy brown, so, um, mixed this really great sort of cantaloupe orange the other day. So I'm going to do two feature walls in orange and then all the other walls will be white so that it seems brighter there. But I also think I'm going to have to get better lighting. Uh, they're just they're just not cutting at what I have there now. and So the space just seems dark, not lighting the work well. I'm uh, pretty close to having my call ready for the vault. So anybody who was thinking they might want to do an installation, uh, it's going to be a $50 a two-week installation and $100 for a month rental of the space. And you will know, have access to the gallery when the studio is open. And um, I'll help cross promote it to Facebook and LinkedIn and my website and the Tumblr. So um, even before I post the call up here, an artist can think you might want to do something else to experiment with some materials or a new body of work you're exploring, uh, feel free to contact me to do that. Also looking at creating an outdoor, two outdoor installation uh, opportunities, uh, one called Eden, which is actually in sort of a raised garden area, and then another one called The Wig. So, uh, you know, keep in touch with me regarding the, hopefully that in the future too. Um, oh, but I have to uh, thank Peter um, and Monica up from my parents' apartment. They started doing some spring cleaning themselves, and so they just dropped off a whole bunch of cool sort of um, little mini tables and, and sit, um, plinths and a really nice dresser that goes with my new color scheme. So, uh, anyway, thank you to my computer because, you know, all those little things, it's a project, but ultimately it's going to help my space get better in the long run. Mm, what else we got? Oh, just a, had an interesting opportunity that arose from Gallery 1313 when I did the Eco Show down there. Um, an organization who's done, doing a call right now for artists and missions from youth regarding environmental work. Um, we're looking for an environmental artist to actually be a guest speaker at sort of a world conference about environmental 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 artwork. So um, I'm going on April 20th. I'm going to be a guest speaker uh, from with an audience of youth who have been chosen, juried into the sort of world environmental artist show. And uh, I'm, I'm going to basically talk to them about their work, talk to them about my work, and uh, facilitate some discussions and the role that youth can play in, in, in envir being environmentalists and, and, and uh, communicating their message through art making. So um, I think that's going to be a pretty neat gig, and I will, you know, sort of retouching with my teaching background. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to be back in space and be doing some more painting. Um, just get things beautified. Uh, maybe do a little sewing. Um, maybe should, uh, look at etching out a project grant for this uh, new wash. I do have a significant amount of time to pull that together if I'd like to get some artist piece and then move on to artist piece. And uh, I have some other calls for submissions that I would like to uh, get out there as well, maybe even a personal artist grant for myself. So, there, you know, every day there's, there's more and more to do. Got official notice today 
some Brian Barr that I am in the studio tour, so that's great news. Um, you need to get them images by April 8th. So if you're another one of the images to your artists, um, they need images to their brochure by April 8th. So there's a reminder for you. And uh, there's, oh, there's a cool opening on Sunday. Um, other more Georgian graduates, Georgian College uh, Fine Arts graduates, uh, are being featured at the Bohemia Cafe. I believe it's from 2 to 4. Oh, and there's also uh, an open house at the Berry Art Club for their uh, Artist of the Month, the feature artists there. So if you're out on that on Sunday, it's supposed to be nice weather. Drop by both those locations and uh, check out what art is happening in, in uh, Berry. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thank you. And uh, for those who are tuning in, thank you very much. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave comments or ask questions. Okay, good night.